Document 360 Tutorial and Review How to Get Started with Docu360 for Beginners. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be discussing how you can build your own knowledge bases, what exactly are the benefits of creating one, and how you can do that with Document 360. So if you want to follow along, make sure to click the link provided in the description box down below to get started with Docu360 and receive a 14-day free trial. Now, what is a knowledge base and how can it help you in establishing your business? Well, a knowledge base can serve as a access or a support for both your customers and your employees. There are two types of knowledge bases primarily. Either they are for your own employees or they might be for your customers. Customer-facing knowledge bases usually entail things like FAQs, return and shipping policies, and some of the other major things that your customers might want help with. This depends on your product or your services as well. So if you're selling a software, you might have bug fixes, you might have easy operating manuals, you might have some standardized articles that you want your customers to know in your knowledge bases. This makes it easier on your ticketing system because customers have access to a wide variety of knowledge provided by you in a internal, in a knowledge base. Now, conversely to that, you have an internal knowledge base, which is primarily for your own employees. This usually serves as a standard operating procedure for your employees to gather information from. So they know what to reply. They know the best practices of your company. They also know what types of ticketing manuals they're supposed to follow, how they're supposed to follow procedures, what types of replies they're supposed to give out, what is the fix for what problem. Now, you can do all of this with Document 360. Simply sign up with your email address. Once you do that, you can go on ahead and start building your first knowledge base. So I have a retail store called Ruffled, and I want to build a knowledge base for that particular website or for that particular store. And I want this to be a customer-based knowledge base. So I want my customers to see that, and I want them to easily be able to access info like shipping return policies, delivery times, and more. So I am going to make this public. Now, if this is only for your internal employees, you can make it restricted. So you can provide accounts to people that are meant to have access. Now I'm going to click on continue and I can invite my team. I am going to skip this because I don't have any team members and I'm just going to create my first project. Now, once I've done that, I can proceed with getting started. I'm going to click on clear sample data on the top right to delete all of my sample data. From here, click on your projects over here and you can open up your first project. Now on the left, you're going to find a panel which includes your dashboard. Below that, you have documentation. Then you have your API documentation, analytics, as well as a widget. Now, the purpose of including a widget is that if you already have a website and you want your knowledge base to not only have its own separate website, but to have your knowledge base inculcated into your pre-existing website, you can do that with a widget. Now, let's get started with building our Docu360 knowledge base. Now, in your left, once you click on documentation, a panel opens up. In this panel, you have your site builder, content tools, workflow assignments, and all articles. So firstly, go into the site builder to start building your site. Now scroll down and you have your logo and branding. If you don't have a logo, you can type in your name like I am doing over here, or you can upload your own logo. Below that, you also have colors as well as brand colors. I'm going to customize my brand colors to a dark pink purple color. And then we also have the hyperlink color. If you want to use the industry standard coloring, or if you want to use brand colors or use a different color. Below that, you also have font combinations that you can use. So you can pick out a font combo, or if you have a specific font combo in mind, you can also create one of your own. Below that, you have your site font, which will be your default font. So I'm going to be using Calibri for that. Below that, we have the styling of our button as well as our site layout. Once completed, click on save on the top right to save your site settings. 
Now, once you've done that, you will see below that you have the option to link your custom domain. So you can provide your own custom domain if you already have one. Now, below that, we are going to start building our actual knowledge base. So for this, we're going to go back into documentation on the left. Once you do that, we're going to firstly open our site to see what it looks like. This is what our current Docu360 site looks like. Now, I'm going to write a couple of articles and then I'll later on show you guys how you're supposed to structure those. So for this, you can see you have the option for your content tools, how you want to, you know, set up content. But I'm going to go back and we're going to start building our content from scratch. So let's just add another article into our document 360 portal. So I'm going to click on create and create a new article. And this is going to be maybe my employee employee onboarding and i'm going to just select this as a category and click on create and once i click on create as you guys can see we have the document 360 editor now i can go ahead and i'm going to create an article and i want to make it really nice and detailed while still being really nicely presented so i'm going to type in my article like so and from here i want to customize the formatting now you will see on the right you have a code view so you can edit in the form of code or you also have the option to format your text directly by clicking on text then you can click on the insert option to insert images tables videos links files and notes you also have the option to find and replace your text as well you can even add things like dividers, callouts, uh, accordions, snippets, and glossaries. Now, for my text, if I want to customize this, firstly, I want to build a simple list within this. So I will type this in, then I'm going to type in slash, and then I want to build a checklist or not a checklist, a numbered list. So I'm gonna go with slash numbered list, and this is going to cover everything. So getting started, then below that we have introduction, intro, and then we have maybe health and safety, health and safety like this. So I can, you know, format my text accordingly. Now, if I want to add a space, so this is my introductory paragraph and I want to create some space, but I don't want it to just, you know, look empty like this. For that, I'm going to type in slash and then I can scroll down and I can add a divider over here like so. And I have a nice little divider that provides space and provides a visual break while still ensuring that my article looks very well written. Now, you also have many other options that you can use. For example, if I want to include things like company procedures and policies on what is or is not allowed, I can type in slash and type in a table and I can insert a table over here. So let's say I have table arrangements. Yes and no. So let's say within table arrangements, I have things such as going to let's say we have frames that are allowed but i don't allow posters on tables so these can be different ways that you can convey information within articles in document 360. you can click on create on the top right and click on category to create a new category an example of a good knowledge base includes nike's knowledge base for their customers so i want to build something similar so for this, I'm going to go into Docu360 and I'm going to click on category. Now you have different types of categories you can create. Either these can be folders, indexes, pages, or a GitHub category. So you can link GitHub as well. But I want to be creating a simple category. So once I've done that, I will create a first category for returns, shipping, and delivery. So I'll just build these two sections. First, I have returns, and this is going to be under root levels. You can actually create subcategories by linking them from one category to the next. Now, I'm going to click on create over here. Once I've done that, I can start adding content. So go into your categories and articles on the left, and then click on add. Click on new article over here and type in your article. How to issue a return. And then I'll just click on create. Once I click on create, I have the article and I can type out my article. I'm just copying this article from here. I'm just going to copy this 
and I'm just pasting that in. This is just sample data. I'm just going to paste that in over here. Now you can also format the way that you're writing your text. You can type in simple text. You can add a slash to add bulleted or numbered lists. You can also create checklists and more. Now, once I've done that, I will click on create on the top left and create a new category. Under this, let's say I want to add shipping and delivery. And then this again is going to be a new category. And this is going to be on the root level as well. I'll add a singular article into this as well. So this will be standard or add these in the form of questions because this is a customer facing knowledge base. Usually for customer facing knowledge bases, you want to include the article names in the forms of questions because it makes it easier for the customer to understand what they're trying to look for. So how long does standard shipping take like this? And then I'll click on create and then I can write the article on that to so three to four days. Obviously, if you want to make this more stylized, you can go into the format function by typing in a slash and you can add different types of formatting as well as content. So you can add images, videos, and link other items into your articles as well. Click on publish on the top right and then click on yes. Once you've done that, you will be able to see two different categories. Now from here, once we've built our categories, we are going to go back into our site builder and then click on the customize site button. Now from here, click on header on the top and you have your navigation menu. For most people, they don't need this navigation menu. So I'm going to be deleting all items because it is not necessary. Below that, I have my home page. So I'm going to click on publish or save. And then I'm going to click on home. And this is my home page section. So I don't want to include these icons. So I will just click on delete over here like this because these are not necessary for my knowledge base. Then I have this particular icon. So I will write get help over here instead. Get help. And then below that, I have this multi column, which I don't need. So I'm going to delete this as well. And then in my hero section, I have a gradient, which I'm going to change the color as well. And I'm going to add a custom color, which is going to be a really dark plum. And we can even go with patterns. We can go with our own types of, you know, alignments for the gradients as well as our hero section. Now below that, we have our documentation button, which will lead people to our documentation. Now what we can do is that we can click on add section and click on knowledge base categories and then click on this and this will say browse by categories. Now from here you will see the knowledge base categories will show up in this particular page. You can also select add element within the knowledge base categories component. So from here we have our knowledge base categories ready and we're going to open this up, click on add elements, and then we're going to check both of our categories, which are returns and shipping and delivery. From here I can click on publish and then click on publish. And once I've done that, I have a semi-structure ready for my knowledge base. So this is what my knowledge base currently looks like. So it hasn't been updated. It's going to take a couple of seconds for all of the settings to take effect. So let's view it again. And you guys can see currently this is what it looks like. It says browse by category, shipping and delivery, and then you have all the articles linked over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Docu360. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the description down below to get started with Document360.